Welcome to Altcoin Daily with Bitcoin Gorilla, where I use simple price action to break down different altcoin, telling you what I see coming, right? In all my analysis, I do not use indicators. I draw my chart from scratch. Today analysis is no any other coin but engine coin. By the end of this video, you are going to get all the fundamental analysis about engine coin as well as the technical analysis but also know that every strategy that i use in my analysis is developed by me bitcoin gorilla so before i start i would like to introduce you to my what my academy this is a bitcoin futures trading academy that is founded by me bitcoin gorilla and is a community of traders now this is an academy as well as a community so there's an academy aspect of it so the academy aspect is that when you come into the family you must be trained for three months you're going to get trained by me for three months on zoom i will teach you everything i know on price action how to trade and how to understand and draw the chart how to start creating your own signal how to start Start reading the chart like a pro in three months you're expected to learn as much so that you can start trading with the family because it's a family of crypto trader and we trade together for a lifetime now when you come in you're going to have access to trading books you're going to have access to student dashboard the, the courses come with quiz and the quiz they come with what a lot of goodies and not just that we have three types of membership we have spot traders membership we have features traders membership and we have the staking membership now when you come into the family you're going to be able to trade with me for a lifetime i share all my trade so when i win you win when i lose you lose especially futures i share every single entry and i take my exit i'm a high leverage trader so i trade one two five x and i have a lot of laws that i'm going to teach you as well i don't hide my results you see my failure you see my wins you see everything i am very open i draw all my charts from scratch with you so you're going to learn how to draw them now mind you admission into machiavelli traders is closed currently admission is only open three times in a year and that is January, October, and uh, January, May, and October. So, when is the next admission open? It's going to be opening by 3rd January 2022. So, stand by so that you wouldn't miss it because it will be closing as soon as what 27 January. We are on a mission to get the best set of traders that are going to build not just me they will build their own business they will build their own life they will become the best traders of their own self all i'm doing is sharing what i have learned with you you go out there and you develop more on it is a is a community that we are together for a lifetime trying to conquer this crypto world now let's jump right back into our analysis but before we start the technical aspect of the analysis let's understand the fundamental aspect of engine coin so what is engine coin and why should i put my money in it first of all i need to understand what it does the use case what they can provide the services the company has to offer now if i look at coin market cap coin market cap tells me that engine coin is a product of the engine company so engine is a company right so if engine is a company then what is the name of their token right is a good question so the company is a gaming company right a company that provides an ecosystem of interconnected blockchain based gaming products ngn flagship engine's flagship offering is the engine network a social gaming platform through which users can create websites and clans chats and host virtual item stores i'm hearing virtual item stores i'm thinking about nfts i don't know if you're thinking what i'm thinking i'm thinking nfts because virtual stores and have been able to create your own website clans that sounds nft like now engines according to coin market cap engine allow game developers to tokenize in-game items on the ethereum blockchain it uses engine coin okay an erc20 token to which the digital asset used 
to which the digital asset issued using its platform, meaning that items can be bought, sold, and traded with real world value. Engine Coins was first announced in July 2017. Now, the good thing they said that their advantage is that Engine Coin, which they said abbreviation is E. NG is a digital store of value used to back the value of blockchain asset like non funga token NFTs. I thought about that as well. Every asset minted with the engine platform contains ENG, a minting resources which is locked inside NFTs and removed from the circulation. Minting blockchain assets with ENG provides a variety of a lot of things so they talked about that it reserve values there's it gives and ensures transparency and scarcity gives them instant liquidity provide utility in game and apps and a lot of things now i think we should visit their website and really see what they are really talking about so this is the website of the engine coin and you can see the first thing they say nft that you can watch in and trade that is quite very interesting right nft integrated with games so let's look further in and see what they are saying let's look further so um you can see that this is what the platform looks like and i can see that you can create um nft games nft stores like marketplaces on top of their blockchain which is quite interesting right and trusted by millions okay all right so you can see what the uh, place looks like right so um now that we understand what it looks like the fundamental aspect we need the technical aspect to make a clear decision on what we should be doing with this coin so i'm going to first of all start by getting my what my support and resistance so this is the first point that is obvious in my eyes of rejection for a resistance and i can tell you there's another one here and the next thing I can do now, what tool am I using? I'm using the horizontal line. I can see another obvious one right there. I'm getting the support and resistance areas of clear rejections. I can see one right there. I can see one right here. I can see one. Now, mind you, this is the weekly chart. And what we just first draw is the in your face support and resistance. Now, if you find my analysis quite interesting, you give me a thumbs up. Thank you in advance. What does it do? It encourages me to know that somebody is appreciating my work and I should actually jump on these more altcoins and drop more videos. So thank you in advance for that thumbs up. So the next thing I'm doing is implement my what, Bitcoin Gorilla strategy. This is my best strategy. So I'm implementing it, but I see that there are still some um, support and resistance that I can still see, though they are not that obvious in my face, but I think they are valuable. If I try to go to daily chart, you understand what I'm saying. You understand what I'm trying to say. So if you can look at the way they look on daily chart, look, this is how our chart look now on daily chart. So let's go back to the weekly chart. And the first thing we're going to do is get the support and resistance of our box, right? The box we just placed down. We're going to get the support and resistance of this box. So why do I treat support and resistance as a and as an area? As you can see, these lines are all support and resistance, but I can't treat my support and resistance as a line to avoid what is called stop loss hunt situation whereby I feel like this is a support, and obviously you can see price pierced through it and still pierced through it. And here price didn't break through it, which means what if I had thought that this was where the support is, I would still miss the trade, right? So for this reason, I treat support as an area. So let me show you what support looks like treating support like an area. So I'm going to get the rectangle box and I'm trying to get the support. This is the support of that bigger boss. So I'm going to change the color to blue. So I'm going to get the resistance as well. This is the resistance area. So now that I've gotten the resistance area, I think I think I can get another box. I think I can get another box. Obviously, my face. That is another box. So I'm going to change the color of that box. Now, all this drawing is happening on the weekly chart. I haven't gone to daily chart to do any drawing yet. So, but when we are done, we're going to go to daily chart and see how all this drawing appears on the daily chart. So I've drawn the box and this is the 
support of this box of this new box this is what the support looks like so let's use green for that and this is what the resistance look like so this is what the resistance look like and this is what the support look like so now that we've gotten this i think i can still get uh, a bias trend line so i can see a clear bias trend line that is right there obviously every bias led trend line or seller's trend line every trend line needs a minimum of two touches so let's count the touches we have we have one here we have two we have three we have four we have five so these are the touches we have on this trend line so far so uh and remember when it when a trend line has multiple too many touches it becomes weaker it keeps it gets this trend line weaker i think i can also get a seller's line right now this is going to start looking like a channel this is beginning to look like a channel i don't know if you know what a channel is so you can see what we are having here looks more like a channel now a channel is a pure is a price action um on um, trending bull channel this is a bull channel it's trending up now in a channel there are two parts of traders taking place the buyers and the sellers you can see an equal move up and equal move down and equal move up and equal move down what do you see two ways is like two way street two way street is not a one way street it's not a one way street is a two way street move up an equal move down and move up and equal move down what this does is there is this reaction at the middle of the channel here and i'm going to actually tell you what this means it just means that are we expecting price to get back here that's a very good question and we're going to be answering that so let's look at what this chart is looking like on the daily right let's go to the daily chart and look at all our drawing and see if our drawing is actually making any sense so we're going to zoom out Okay, so this is what the drawing looks like. Good. So we know um, we can in easily interpret what this chart is saying to us here. Now, remember from our drawing, remember from our drawing, we say that um, this is support area, this is resistance area of the inner box. This is support area, this is the resistance area of the biggest box the first box we draw so this is the first box and this is the second box right now the thing about this is you can see that price as how price let me zoom in remember this drawing we did this drawing on the weekly chart we've not drawn anything on this daily chart can we actually look at this chart and see how it looks on the four hours this is beautiful this is how four hours look you can see how easy you see the four hours look we can scroll back and see how price kept respecting our support remember this is our support right you see how price respected it right you can see this is our support right you see how price respected it here as well so there's no coincidence we did this drawing not on the four hours chart but on the weekly chart but everything seems to be working according to plan right you can see how much our support and resistance are being respected seeing this so now let's go back and stop telling you what price can do next now that we see that our drawing is in place so um so according to this chart here is what this chart is telling me very simple it tells me that currently price is seeking a stronger support and obviously even in your face a blind person knows that this support is right here there is a support here but it is not strong enough to hold price you can see in the previous past the the same area wasn't support enough to hold price so chances are high that even if i said let me pick another bias line and let me see if they have developed another bias line which is very possible now this is daily chart mind you it's all higher time frame i tell a lot of people in my analysis you have to learn to be very patient if you want to make the good money the big money is in pyramiding is in a big trend is in riding the trend is in taking the trade for a little 
time not going in and out of the market in and out of the market you're likely going to lose a lot of money this is why i prefer trading higher time frame it gives me peace of mind it gives me rest of mind if i make an analysis i know it's for a month i know what to expect for the next two months three months i know what to expect right an analysis this is what happens when you do an analysis on higher time frame you have peace of mind even though when price is going sideways you know they are coming even before they come so in this situation we see that price is respecting uh, a mini week is weak i call it very weak very weak trend line so chances of breaking is high because there's a stronger support around 1.7 to 1.4 range so the thing is if the sell-off, because here's where the sell-off started. The sell-off started from the bigger resistance right here. So the sell-off, the mini resistance, which was supposed to act as a support, failed, which means here is also likely going to fail. A seek is going to likely seek a stronger support between 1.7 to 1.4. If the sell-off continue, then we could see it seek a bigger support of the top of here to make a double bottom. Now, that's worst case scenario. In my analysis, I always tell you, I leave my mind open. I leave my mind open. Why? I know this is cryptocurrency. So I know that volatility can change at any time. As much as I consider the bulls, I also consider the bears and vice versa. So in this situation, we are going to consider both what the buyers are capable of doing and what the sellers are capable of doing. And I'm going to share my clear opinion without bias with you. It is up to you to make a decision. What you do with it is up to you. So from this chart, what I am saying is that there are two things that are likely going to happen. Depending on this point, I see is very weak. But if they persist, if they, there is a little demand here, because as a result of this point, so yes, there could be a reaction, it could be a bounce, a bounce that could retest the top of this point. Uh, but that bounce could get rejected. If it bounce for you, it could get rejected around $3 or 3.5, right? So we could get a bounce here that could get rejected around here. But the chances are higher that it will first of all get here before that bounce happen. Because why? That is when it will come complete the channel remember the channel we just drew we talked about that is when it will complete the channel so it could make a move like this right so we could get something like this right so we could see price coming to this point if they to hold this channel but chances are high for me i do see a more chances of a double bottom right here i do see around 0.8 one dollar to 0 0.8 that's what i do see if the sell-off continues right i do see price in 2022 at some point could get to this point right but like i said there's a support here and i cannot ignore the support these bulls can actually keep going because they have really been holding up for quite some time on this engine coin and this is nft coin so demand is rising especially with the way we see nft blowing up in 2021 nft is likely going to have a lot of things coming and again we're talking about virtual store we're talking about metaverse we're talking about a lot of things that are coming out in 2022 so agn depend on the demand that enter this coin we could either have this coin turn from this point because of this particular point but most importantly i do see them getting to this point before turning and if the sell-off continue depending on bitcoin that is if bitcoin dump it will really affect this coin to go lower at worst case scenario this is worst case scenario so this is worst case scenario if things really go that bad before we see this 0 0.8 because i really see support of this um 1.7 to 1.4 really holding up and this coin but at worst case scenario we can see one dollar right so this is what i see coming on this coin and obviously if they hold up they could retest this point but just know that from three dollar now is going to be a battle from 3.5 3.5 they will face some challenges either they get 3.5 to four dollars just depending depending but i do see this point this for me for me i'm telling you i do see them going as low as 1.7 to 1.4 that is my higher chances that is what the chart is really because in all my charts i know that whatever price is in the middle of my charts chances of it breaking down is high to my support now if you like my strategy 
give me a thumbs up and subscribe i will leave the link below on everything you need to know about machiavelli three you can visit the website thank you for still watching click the link in the bio to join the free group on telegram happy trading thanks in advance for still being here